Soon the has been broken again. A new patch has been released. At first glance, nothing special at all. But I was hooked by the sound item, which affected weapons, equipment and crouching movements. And be sure to pay attention to the sound of searching containers. I think many of you have already noticed that when you search a crate, the sound of searching a bag, when a jacket, some other sound. In fact, it's not that critical. Strange? Yes. Unpleasant? Well, maybe yes too. After all, it was about the volume of the search and I become interested in checking it out. I put the person to search the bag, and I myself moved away or closer and noticed such a feature, that if the distance is less than 15 meters, it's almost impossible to understand at what distance the enemy is from you. The sound source seems to be right in your head. But it's worth moving a little further and the volume starts to drop sharply. I am not sure it should work exactly like this, but ok. Another very interesting point. If you watched the previous video about sound, you know that from the outside it was not audible how the BMC enters the inventory. I don't know if it will please you or not, but now during this process he makes the sound of rubbing his hands. And it will be audible for almost 20 meters. However, it's very quiet. If you approach somewhere at 16 to 15 meters, then it's much more distinct. Loading ammo into the magazine, everything is still silent. You are the only one who hears this process. Movement at minimum speed while crouching. Now it's a much more obvious sound. It stands out well against the background of the wind and if you stand still, you will definitely notice someone sneaking up on you. Reds, sorry, your ear is over. Until this patch, there was a such a situation, then when a character walks on metal, on wood, the sound is the same. Now this has been fixed. But the question is, how far can all this be heard? Movement that on ordinary ground, what on metal is equivalently audible at 20 meters. And the, the only difference between them is that the sound of metal stands out somehow more. And here is how the wood sounds, agree very loud. I don't think that anyone can fail to notice that. And here for you, in contrast, walking on concrete. What are they shoving us here? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Oh, funny, funny. Yeah, yeah, do it. Oh, again. Mm. Hundreds of weapon builds, mechanic explanation, guys on any topic. Really, if you want to understand the game, please follow the link in the description or comments. A Patreon subscription is the best thing that can happen to you. Ok, we got that sorted out. What about the weapon sounds? I took guns of different lengths and sizes. I shot well, 5.45 AK and also SA-58. They are needed to understand how different types of weapons differ from each other and also assembled a short M4A1 and the longest possible to compare the dependence of the sound on the barrel length. The main actions that can be performed with the gun. Take it out, raise it after a sprint and also aim. Let's start with the taking out the gun. We will go in order. First, at shot 12. Then AK. Then SA-58. Short M4A1. Long M4. The sounds may somehow differ there, but in fact they are almost identical and indistinguishable. From the outside it's not clear what kind of weapon the enemy took out. 
Next comes the ways after the sprint. Here are a few examples with the air shot well. There is almost no sound. When a character runs with an AK, sometimes a sound slips through, similar to when we took out the gun. We took a say in our hands, then some kind of overtones were made more during the run and not during the stop. When we compared the short and long gamefer, there was no difference between them at all. Sometimes on the run, sometimes during a stop, some overtones slip through beside the run, but it's all so insignificant and generally not important. Therefore, let's immediately move on to the interesting thing – aiming. Each gun has its own individual sound, albeit a quiet one. To avoid re-watching, try to listen. Here is Ersha 12. Do you hear this click? Now AK. SA58. Short M4. And long M4. By the way, M4A1 make the same sounds. I would also like to additionally show what sound an XMS makes. And what a PKM makes. And by the way, these sounds can really screw you up. When you are aiming at you with a pistol, it's really incomprehensible what kind of gun the enemy has. But when a person aims at XEMS, you immediately feel that it will hurt you now. The aiming sound can also be heard at about 20 meters, by the way. It's worth noting that the ergonomics of a particular gun now doesn't seem to affect its noise level. I took two M700, one ergonomic and the other not ergonomic at all. And upon direct comparison, I didn't notice any real significant difference. What remained unchanged is turning in place. When PMCs spin in place, they are still just as loud. But it's worth starting to move at minimum speed and everything changes. There are no turning sounds, and uh, this works both standing and uh, sitting. I also, by the way, was very much hoping that different grenades would have different sounds when they were taken out. But unfortunately, we were not so lucky, but agree, it would be a cool idea. Write in the comments if you agree. But it's time for the most broken part of this patch. I somehow mentioned that in active headphones you can hear forward much further than backward. Well, standing sideways you can hear the enemy about a third worse. We went to shoreline, an open field, and put the guy to jump in place, moving away from him, looking through the rangefinder. 
the sound of his jump, albeit quiet, could be heard for almost 70 meters. It's worth turning away and the sound disappears. But we knew that. Approaching him, we managed to hear him at about 40 meters. But what's funny is that sideways it can also be heard only at 40 meters and it's not a smooth transition. It's abrupt. Either you hear it or you don't. That is, at 180 degree we hear at 70 meters, and at the other 180 degree we hear at 40 meters, but that's ok. But what if you take off your active headphones, and oh miracle, we also hear much further when we turn our face, wider than the back of our head. In my opinion, something is clearly not working right. I am sure you are wondering if the character breathes in the face shield. And I'll tell you that he doesn't. No matter how much you shot at him, the character didn't start breathing. So this moment wasn't fixed either. So what are our results? Now you can really try to remember how a particular weapon sounds when aiming, and accordingly use this information. Sneaking up on an enemy without a sound will no longer work, and for now we have some kind of sound mess in terms of searching containers, and in addition the character hears somehow one-sidedly. Write your opinion in the comments, what do you think about this update? This is the end of this video, thank you for watching to the end. Bye-bye, see you next time.